Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder. In this stable diffusion tutorial we're going to see a completely new project where we're going to take a text prompt and create a music animation or music video that is completely AI generated. So if you are not familiar with this there is a new model that got released yesterday that's called Refusion. We're going to see quickly about what Refusion is and then we are going to see the complete Google Collab notebook of how to create a Gradio application where you can just give a text prompt and that will create a music video that looks like this. I'm going to first show you the demo. So we have got a text prompt here and once I click submit after 40 seconds on Google Collab tier, a free tier I'm going to get this. So what is this? This is how it sounds like. So we have got an image that is stable diffusion generated. We have got a music that is refusion generated and these two things are fused together with the waveform and that finally looks like this and it's very well defined for you to share it on social media if you if you like. So how did we get here? And that is possible because we have got a Google Collab Notebook where I'll tell you every section what does it mean. But before this Google Collab Notebook, it is very important for us to talk about Refusion. Refusion, um, I mean they, they call it a Riff plus Diffusion. Refusion was created by Seth Forsgren, Hake Matriors as a hobby project. I mean it doesn't look like a hobby project. What is Refusion? Refusion is stable diffusion for music. But what is very surprising is the way they approached it. Rather than making a model for music, they approached it as an image problem. So audios can be represented as a visual uh, representation using something called spectrograms. So what they did is they fine-tuned a stable diffusion model that can generate spectrograms. So they fine-tuned a stable diffusion model using spectrogram data that can generate spectrograms. Now what happens is when somebody gives a text, this model tries to create spectrogram for the input text. Now that spectrogram could be very well easily like with the helper script translated into an audio file like let's say a wave file and that wave file is an AI generated music and that is exactly what Refusion has done. It's mind blowing how coherent the music is, how beautiful it is structured, especially how close it is to the text prompt. I never imagined that you could generate you could generate spectrograms using AI, especially stable diffusion and then create music. I mean, I was mind blown. Like when I heard that somebody had done this thing, if somebody had released a model for music, trained on music, I wouldn't have been surprised. I mean like, okay, fine. This is another stable diffusion model. But somebody trained a spectrogram image model and that is creating music at a, such a great level and that is completely mind blowing. You should definitely check it out. So to make it easier and also to make it fun, I created this Google Collab Notebook where you just don't create an audio, you also get to create a video. Video in the sense it is not moving a lot but it is still a video file like an mp4 file that is very good for you to share it on social media and we are going to see how to do the same. I will link this Google Collab Notebook as a GitHub repo um, in the YouTube description. You can just download the notebook from my GitHub and then once you open a Google Collab Notebook new Google Collab Notebook, make sure you go change the runtime to GPU. After you change the runtime to GPU, you can upload, click upload notebook and then the notebook that you copied from my YouTube description, you can upload it here and you are set to go. So first thing, open, create a new Google Collab Notebook, click runtime, change runtime, select GPU. After you select GPU, click file, upload notebook, upload notebook and then upload the notebook which I'll link into the YouTube description that is available on my GitHub. Once you do that, the next thing is the first thing that you need to do is you need to check what is the uh, GPU that you have got. NVIDIA SMI will give you GPU. In my case, I've got a Tesla T4 machine, a 16 gig machine. Let me stop this gradient notebook first. Cool. So we have got a GPU that is NVIDIA SMI will give you the GPU. For this model, Refusion model to work on Google Collab, you need to install Xformers. Thanks to Camendru, Camendru has created a build, a wheel for Xformers. Otherwise, it might take an hour or more than an hour for us to install Xformers. But thanks to Camendru, who has made a build for Xformers and that is available for us to install directly from their GitHub repository. After you install Xformers, you need to install Transformers, Diffusers, Gradio. Transformers, Diffusers, Gradio, primarily anything related to Stable Diffusion and also FTF, again for a Stable Diffusion 
and PyDub, which is audio related. Now install all these things. Once you install all these things, you like I said, this model is going to create images, pictogram images. So you still need to convert this pictogram into audio, but you don't have to go anywhere and then look for the code. Thanks to the Refusion team, they themselves have shared a helper file called audio.py. So we have used their audio.py file using simply just we are getting it and then we are starting, we are going to use it in our code. So thanks to the Refusion team. The next thing is import all the required libraries. Import Gradio, Torch, which is PyTorch, Diffusers, Audio. From Diffusers, we need Stable Diffusion Pipeline. From Audio, we need Wave Bytes from Spectrogram Image, which means we are going to take the Spectrogram Image and convert into an audio file, which is the Wave file, .wav file. The next thing is load the model. The model is currently available on Hugging Face Model Hub. So this is the model ID. So like you load any stable diffusion model or fine tuned model, you can say stable diffusion pipeline dot from underscore pre-trained the model ID and then torch float 16. So you have at this point downloaded the model. This would take a little bit of time because this is quite heavy. But at this point you have successfully downloaded the model. I think in my case it took about two minutes. The next thing after you have downloaded the model, move the model to CUDA, which is GPU and then enable Xformer's memory efficient attention. This may not be also required. You can just simply do this thing, but pipe dot enable underscore Xformer's underscore memory efficient attention will help your model be more memory efficient, which means consume lesser memory uh, so that it can run on Google Colab. The next thing is we are going to design, like I told you about the video that we are going to design. For that, we just need to import and some random colors import import sorry import random and then some random colors here which we'll use later on the next thing is we need to design the audio function the audio um, conversion part um, and before that like i said we are creating a video as well for that we need an image that is stable diffusion created so from diffusers import stable diffusion which is the same thing you don't have to repeat it again my, my poor coding because i was iterating a lot you don't have to do that again so but you need to define the model id in my case, I'm using stable diffusion version 1.5 runway ML's model, stable diffusion pipeline from pre-train. I'm downloading the model. I'm storing it in a new object called image underscore pipe because I don't want conflict between my existing audio model and my new image model. Then move the model to CUDA and then same enable Xformers for this model as well. So at this point, I've got two pipeline diffusers pipeline. One is my audio pipeline. The second one is my image pipeline. So the first one is pipe. The second one is image underscore pipe. The next thing is I need a prompt. This is just to test again. The prompt is I've given morning sunshine, morning sunshine. So after I've given morning sunshine, then I'm creating a spectrogram here. So pipe of prompt dot images will give me the spectrogram. If you want, you can actually look at the spectrogram as well. Doesn't like doesn't it doesn't look anything different, but you can see it. So now take the spectrogram, send it to this function called wave underscore bytes from spectrogram image that will take the spectrogram and give you an audio file and now you need to write the audio file to your local machine or in this case google collab so the output dot wav gets stored so at this point the first part of our code is complete which is take the text prompt and create a relevant ai, gen AI generated music so that is that part is done so if you are intention of watching this video is just to generate AI generated music, you can stop the video here and then you can move forward to try out the code yourself. But if you also want to generate an image or a music video, then let's go further. So now the next step is to create an image. As you can see, I've got the image pipeline here, IMG underscore pipe, which is the stable diffusion image pipeline for me. And I've taken the same prompt that the user gave and I've added a bunch of, you know, tokens, extra tokens to ma make the look, to make the image look more like, um, like an art. Next thing is, uh, I've created the image and I'm displaying the image here and then I'm storing the image and you can see I'm saving the image as img.png. Next thing is Gradio very recently, um, I think yesterday I saw this announcement probably which is you can make a waveform video using Gradio. I mean, mind blown again, like the kind of 
the kind of uh, new features that the team release it's it's mind blowing so you can use gr which is for gradio dot make underscore waveform make underscore waveform input the audio file input the background image and set the bars like the the waveform bars which do not move necessarily but still you have got the bars and the color of the bars once you have this thing gradio is going to create your audio store the audio somewhere and then assign the audio path sorry video did i say audio just just go back in time and then change it to video save the video and then give the video path here so that's why i'm saving it as video path and then finally i've got a very simple script that will play the video file for us so let's go back in time and then quickly let me run this for you so we have got a prompt i'm going to say kid in the park or maybe i should uh, yeah kid in the park run this the prompt is assigned now audio file is getting generated after the audio file gener gets generated which takes about like 8 to 10 seconds after that is generated the next thing is we are going to generate the image with the same prompt so we want to generate an image related to the kid in the park in the park yeah so now this is going to take another couple of seconds um i mean we have come a long way right like when we started with stable diffusion it used to take ages but we have come a long way so now kid in the park we have got kid in the park save the image now we can make a video so we have got the audio file and we have got the background image and gradio is going to make the waveform for us and then embed like stitch all these things together audio image waveform together and then it is going to make a video for us which is already done in 7 seconds now play that oh sorry i should have uh, i i should i should have given this function like created a function let me stop it let me give that path the path here is the video path let me play that path and once i play that ideally it should show me the yeah we have got the kit the same kit you can see with the audio form the form waveform let's play it so this is the audio for the prompt kid in the park with the image kid in the park generated by stable diffusion everything stitched together made as an mp4 video which you can just right click and then save it but you know we want to we want to build more on top of it so now we are going to convert everything into a function because we want to ultimately build a gradio application and as you know like in this channel like we have built a lot of gradio application gradio needs at least three main things a function a core function an input and an output so the function is going to take the input and generate the output so what do we want to do we want to take the input which is a text and then we have to give two outputs one is the audio the second one is the video so you see the text prompt as an input and you would see the audio plus video as an output and in the middle what is happening is exactly what i just told you before we have a spectrogram creation using pipe once we have the spectrogram uh, when i say pipe it is basically using refusion using refusion we are creating spectrogram once we have the spectrogram we are using the utility script from the refusion team to create a wave file which is an audio file save the audio file and then print just like for logging print the message saying audio saved then image creation get started use the same prompt create a prompt new prompt and use that prompt to create an image and that image is now saved and then send a message saying image saved now you are going to start the video creation process using gradius make underscore waveform now the video is done save now return the audio path and the video path that's it now you can check if you want but i'm going to show you i'm not using blocks here i wanted to keep it simple so i'm using interface which is gradius um, the first class that they used to have to build gradio application so in the interface i've got the core function the function i've got input which is a text box for grade uh, text box for uh, collecting the prompt then we have got the output in the output we have got one is audio the other one is video this is again to enable somebody if they just want to download audio file don't have to use the video file and then finally we have like if you want to also show the image you can do it but i didn't find it useful to show the image separately because that is something that people can always go themselves and then create and finally we have got the title that says 
refusion plus stable diffusion ai generated music video and then we have got the final link um, launch debug is equal to true if you are doing it on collab you can just keep it debug is equal to true if you are going to use on any other platform you would need to do share is equal to true as well if you are just doing it on local machine you don't need this but if you were running it like let's say kaggle or somewhere else you need to do share is equal to true also another thing to notice if you are going to deploy this as a hugging face um, space then you need to enable queue so there are certain nuances that you need to keep in mind but for now let's keep it like this and i'm going to click this and that is going to run this entire thing for me as a grady application and it is going to also give me a link where i can share it with my friends if i run it on google collab so i'm going to right click it and then send it to new tab and in the new tab it is going to open and while it opens you can see that it is a grady application so which means our application is running if you have got the title in intact you have the prompt output and output one which is like we can convert it to audio and video so i'm going to create the message i'm going to say hi ways hi ways car chase okay let's generate it takes about like 40 seconds overall um i think around 10 to 15 for the audio around 10 to 15 for the video and then finally to stitch them together another 10 seconds let's see how long how much time it takes i'm not going to edit this video out um like meanwhile just again to give a shout out to the gradio team also the refusion team make sure you check out their repositories start their repositories and give a shout out i think it didn't take a lot of time so it is done so we have got the image let me play it for you you can either play just the audio but we can play the video as well nice um I wanted to always try there is a star man waiting in the moon if you know the reference to this please let me know in the comment section this is um, this is a very popular line there is a star man waiting in the moon I don't know if it is waiting in the moon or waiting in the sky maybe maybe I made a mistake so let's say there is a star man waiting in the moon and let's see what is it going to do it is estimating it is going to take 24 seconds might take a little bit more i would say let's see uh, 25 okay it took 25 ish that's amazing that's amazing the image looks amazing the audio the audio is nice the video is nice you can just right click it save the video as whatever name you want share it on social media and that takes us to the end of this wonderful project which i had really good fun putting together which is use refusion to generate audio from text um, ai generated music use stable diffusion to create image ai generated image use gradius waveform make waveform function very new fresh and hot to stitch all of them together and then make now ai generated music video i hope this video tutorial was helpful to you like i said the google collab notebook will be linked in the youtube description as a github a notebook just download it open a collab and then upload it start the video from the first you will have all the instructions to do it i hope this was helpful to you if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in the next video peace